folks. Today we're going to be looking at four different types of investing, four different strategies, four different methods of investing, and we're going to be trying to figure out which one suits you the best. Welcome back to Easy Finances. I'm Wes, and as I said in the intro, we're going to be covering the different types of investing, and the hopes is to for you to be able to determine what type of investor you want to be. The four types that we have and that we're going to be going over today are ETFs only investing, we have dividend stocks investing, we have regular growth stocks investing, and we have high yield dividend stocks investing. Now for our purposes today, I'm going to be ranking these in respect to the ease of use for a beginner investor. To start out with, I think that ETF only is the best way to go for a beginner investor. You can buy one or more ETFs, throw your money in it. It's already diversified. You don't have to worry about it. You, you can get comfortable with the fluctuations of the stock market. You can see this going up and down and you don't have to make the changes in it. There's already a fund manager that takes care of that for you and you just dollar cost average in over time. That means you add money when there's dips, you add money when it's high, and overall it averages out. That is the easiest way to invest in the stock market. And as you can see, we can still get a pretty good return from that. The second one that I think is uh, the next step for beginning investors is going to be dividend investing. The way you do that is through the intelligent investor method. I think that is a great way to do it. It was Benjamin Graham. It's the intelligent investor is the book if you want to read it. And Warren Buffett has this style of investing. It's uh, value investing. So you're going to find companies that are, are really good and you're going to invest in those over time. Now you can see that the, the way that I'm introducing these doesn't necessarily match up to the amount that we have made in this profile or in this portfolio rather. There's a reason for that. ETFs only and then dividend growth stocks. What I've done here is look up a bunch of companies and I've looked up what their profitability is, what their book values are, uh, I want to find out what their payout ratios are for their dividends, how much debt they have. Really dig into these companies and look at it. Now, I say that's the ease of use, and I really think that that is the next step in an investor's career, is going from ETFs, where you're not doing any research, to individually looking up companies. And I'm not saying that you have to have a, a basket of companies to start out with at first. You might have two or three different companies that you want to invest in, in your portfolio. And that's fine to start out with because you've already got your ETF. So you get the ETF portion. You can then break out, put half of your account, you know, half of your pie into dividend stock or growth stocks and start finding the stocks that you want to invest in. The companies with a little research, you're going to have to do research. And, and I think Yahoo Finance is, is a great site for that, for the research. And you can just type in any ticker symbol or company. And you can find all the all, all the information that you would need to have. There are yearly reports, anything that you would need to look up the information that you need. But I do strongly recommend Benjamin Graham's book, The Intelligent Adva In Investor. You can look up a little bit here about him on Wikipedia. Benjamin Graham, the father of that type of investing, some say. The next best way of in investing would be the high dividend stocks. Now, I've made a full video on this, so I won't belabor it too much but essentially what I'm employing here is a core satellite method of investing so I've gone in I've got this is our core VYMI it's the Vanguard International Dividend Yield ETF the purpose of investing this way is for cash flow you're not really looking for growth if you're doing high dividend stocks you just want a good payout over a period of time and you're hoping to either spend that money now or invest it in different things you want this to pay out a high yield and that's fine and there's a safe way to do it and we're also eventually going to apply the intelligent investor method to all of these companies in here a few of them I've already looked over admittedly some of these this is not my favored way of investing so admittedly some of these companies were thrown in there just because of their high yield I went through in another video and uh, removed a bunch of a bunch of those from the initial list and you can take a look at that video. I'll try to throw it up here. And you can see we've had an okay return on that as well, right? But not quite as much as the dividends or ETF. The fourth and final method that we're employing in the video portfolio here is growth stock investing. So growth stocks are stocks that you don't expect to pay a lot of dividends, 
but you expect to go up in value immensely. And I, and I would say anywhere in five years or less. So you're expecting these to really shoot out. Now you might know that the this particular field like uh, Tesla, the electric cars are going to go crazy and you know that people are going to be buying these up in the future. That, that is the future and you want to be a part of that stock. Now, I don't recommend this type of investing for beginner investors at all. You, as you can see, you, you can get great great returns, but you're also going to get your biggest losses from this type of investing as well. So a beginner investor, if the stock market shoots down and you lose all your money because all, all these newer companies that haven't been proven you know, lose out, then you're going to be pretty sad. If after a while you've been investing and you want to have a little bit of speculation in, in your uh, portfolio, you know, you could either get a different portfolio altogether or you can or designate a, a small portion of your portfolio you know five or less than ten percent to speculation which is exactly what this is so you can call it gambling speculation I did in order to mitigate that put a few different companies in here that I know are solid but big growth companies as well Microsoft I know is not going anywhere in the near future and looking at their their fundamentals the, in the intelligent investor way I knew that it was good but I still put it in here because I knew it had a, a large potential for growth so that's why we have it in this one we have Berkshire Hathaway is another one and that is Warren Buffett's company the reason I have it in here is because it doesn't pay a dividend and I would have to sell that in order to realize any gains off of that and as you can see maybe that's not exactly a growth company but I consider it growth because it doesn't pay dividends and I know that it's gonna grow over time within the next five years what it is but you see insane growth from some of these like uh, Callaway Golf Company Microsoft Tesla, Facebook, Uber, and Beyond Meats. Now you can see just because I was lucky in this, this is my speculation. I bought into these companies thinking, hmm, this is the future. Let's put them in this portfolio. It's not my preferred method, but I'm doing it for this video portfolio. As you can see, we've been quite lucky and got a great return. So yes, you can get lucky and get great returns from growth stocks, but it is speculation. It's gambling. I don't recommend doing it. My favorite method is uh, doing dividend growth investing. ETFs are obviously quite good, but in terms of gains on our portfolio, what we see is that growth stocks have been king, and that's just in a short period of time. So in you know another year, you might see that that's our biggest drag on on the portfolio because it's huge losses. The thing is, is it it fluctuate? It's going to fluctuate a lot, and I expect that to fluctuate a lot. And in future videos, perhaps we'll take this out of the uh, portfolio, or at least minimize it to a, put it to a smaller position within the portfolio. But for now, we don't have a whole lot of money in, in the portfolio itself, so we're, I'm going to keep it in as it is. And it's fun to see who's who's the winner here in this race. Now, those are the four different types of investing that we have here. So we have the intelligent investor method with dividend growth stocks. We have speculation with growth stocks. We have dollar cost averaging and ETFs only. So we're just throwing money in over time and letting the fund manager do his thing and we have core satellite investing in high dividend stocks high dividend stocks high dividend yield stocks or high yield dividend stocks are you, you could just go without this and just invest in high yield dividends but in the video I made on this I went ahead and explained why we're employing a different form of investing with that to mitigate our, our losses. And that's what we have. We have four styles of investing. I can't tell you which one is gonna be best for you. I can tell you what I think is the best for beginners, and I think that is ETF investing. You can get your feet wet, you know, especially if you're going to school, if you're working a lot, uh, you know, and you're young, you're not worried about it, you just want to be invested. ETF investing is the best way to go. You don't have to worry about it, you don't have to do research. You throw your money at it. Over time, you get gains. You're getting some dividends. Let's see how much dividends we've, we've gotten out of there. So as you can see, you get dividends and growth. It's a great way to go. Followed by the dividend growth stocks. Once you, once you start being able to have time or interest researching companies, go ahead and get into that, that form of investing. Read up on it. Intelligent Investor. I'm telling you, it's a great book. And then branch out from there if you want to add more, let's say, fun to your investing. You actually want to be more active in it. And that's what I have for today. And please drop a comment below. Hit the like button. Please share this with your family and friends if you like what we're doing here. Every week I'm putting out videos, sometimes twice a week. This week I was in Texas. 
uh, was at a, my nephew's graduation ceremony for basic training in the Air Force. I'm very proud of him. We're, I'm, I'm going to be putting these out every week. We're going to be doing a full portfolio review every month. So that's monthly. We're putting $40 a, a week into this portfolio, and we're going to see how it works in, here in 2020. Thanks, folks.